with the Queen of Wands and the Fool popping out. Hmm. Are you starting something new? You're going to be courageous and start something new that you've been wanting to do. Maybe a creative pursuit. Something that you've been passionate about. Um, if you remain optimistic at this time when pursuing it, you are going to be successful with it. Beginnings start when you start them. And it's very scary to make that first step. Doing anything new is scary because no one likes to look like a fool. But with this fool card... The fool doesn't care <laughs> what he or she looks like. Um, if you can get over just that initial feeling of dread or the initial feeling of being like, oh, I might look silly trying to do something new, that's going to go away really fast. So if you could just get over it and realize that everyone starts as the fool, everyone starts from the beginning and there's always going to be mistakes. So if you can understand that and accept that, you will be successful in what you're trying to pursue here. Judgment. I think you're doing a lot of self-evaluation at this time of being like, okay, well, am I, am I worth it? Can I do this? Do I have something to offer people? Do I have something to give? You might have imposter syndrome, which is like, oh, I'm not good enough to do this or that, you know. But if you look around and you look at the people, the peers that you want to associate with, you start to realize that they're not any better than you. Okay, it just revolves around experience. So if you can understand that experience comes with fails and successes and realize that if you welcome the failures... You will be even better and better, you know, in your pursuit of whatever thing you're doing, career-wise, hobby-wise, something that you're trying to pursue here. So just realize that when it comes to doing something, in order to be a master at anything, the master isn't just good at doing something. The master knows all the things that can go wrong and has probably experienced everything that has gone wrong. And that's how you get the wisdom to know and to foresee things happening in the future that might go wrong. That's how you grow. That's how you gain respect, you know, for yourself and from other people. And I think you're starting to waken up to the fact of being like, you know what? I'm good enough. I can do this. I have something to offer. And I shouldn't let my uh, self-esteem get in the way. I shouldn't let my fears get in the way of starting this because I have something here that's energetic that I want to share and I feel like I can share it you know when you start to realize like it's just making that first step that's the scariest part just hold your nose and jump you're becoming decisive on what to do here and I think you're you're deciding to do this but it takes it takes a long time to decide to like you know what I'm gonna do it I'm just gonna do it we have the Wheel of Fortune and Recognition popping out. So again, this is showing that once you just do it, right, like Nike says, the Wheel of Fortune is here and you're going to get recognized for what you're deciding to do. So if you feel like people aren't going to respect what you're, what you're about to do or you feel like maybe you won't get the clientele that you need, that's false because... It looks like this is meant for you. Like, this is destiny. This is karma. This is my cat also in this reading. This is about good luck, okay? So when you make the first step as the fool, with your head held high and optimistic and looking forward to the success and not looking forward to being like, oh, well, all the things, you know, that could go wrong scare me, right? If you just look forward and look at like, you know what, this could work. This actually can work. And you and you stay focused on that, knowing that you might, you will make mistakes, right? But you're going to be recognized for this. And there's going to be people that will support you and pick you out of the crowd and show you that you are worth um, going towards following. You know, there, there's going to be crowds and supporters around you that wish you well and also show you that what you do and what you have to say is important and it's helpful. 
okay? So that's going to give you the support that you need to know, like, you know what? It was scary to start, but I'm so happy that I started because now I have my people. I have people around me that are, are showing me that it's worth it, you know? So you might become a leader of some sort. There might be people that you might be teaching or there might be people that are going to be looking up to you in some sort of way. And it's not because you're trying to be on a high horse. It's because you want to share information. You want to share your talent. You want to lead people down the right path. And this is showing you that change is going to be good for you right? This change is going to be good. You're going to have a lot of recognition when it comes to this. Beautiful. The Knight of Wands. Okay, so we have the Queen and the Knight of Wands here. There might be someone that is younger than you that helps you along your path, okay? Even though he's a little bit younger than you, does not not mean he could be fairly close to your age, maybe just a little bit younger, but Someone's going to help you along your path, right? This knight is knowledgeable as well, okay? The queen of wands knows what she's doing, you know, and she's feisty. She might be sarcastic. She might be funny, um, you know, quick-witted. But so is this knight. This knight is on his horse, and he's ready for an adventure, right? He's fearless. He's energetic. He has a lot of spirit, right? And he's open-minded to starting revolutions. It doesn't have to be drastic revolutions, but he's ready to just like go against the grain and do it his way as well. So when you both combine forces, when you both combine wands, right? And you start creating together, sky's going to be the limit because you both are on the same wavelength when it comes to um, marching to your own beat, Right? Um, not always being a follower, not always doing what the crowd does, because you're just, if you do what everyone else does, you're just like everyone else, you don't stick out, and you don't do anything authentically, because there's some people out there that don't know how to be authentically themselves, right? They just look to other people for, what do I wear? What do I do? What do I say? Who do I identify as? Blah, blah, blah. And they never really look inward, because it's scary to be... Um, a rebel. It's sometimes it's scary to be alone because you have to be okay being alone in a crowd and standing up for what you believe in. It takes a lot of guts, right? A lot of artists are okay with that because you, sometimes you have to ruffle some feathers to, you know, have a message come across. But there's also people that are quote unquote artists that just copy what everyone else does. What's the latest trend? Oh, everyone's wearing this. I'm going to wear this. Oh, everyone's doing it this way. I'm going to do it this way. Everyone's buying these shoes. I'm going to buy these, like, you know, like, and it's just like, are you, who are you? You know, is this you? You're just a copycat. So when you have two rebels coming together, there's a lot of magic that happens because now you don't care what everyone else does. You know, like you might learn from people in a knowledgeable way, but you're not going to look outside for inspiration. You both are going to be like having a lot of creative brainstorming. And, oh, there's a card that just turned over. Queen of Pentacles, Abundance. Okay. There's going to be a lot of creative brainstorming here where it's going to give you abundance, right? It's going to give you this feeling of what is abundance it's not just money it's the feeling of love money friendship camaraderie success feeling safe you know um being able to kind of take a deep breath at night and being like thank god i have gone this far thank god that i made the first few steps thank god that i work so hard and it's paying off karma works right and people will eventually flock to you Maybe there's people that are looking for you. They don't know it's actually you. But sometimes people need someone to look up to. You know, they need the inspiration. They need that. They need someone to just help them, right? And you might be that person. You know, you might be the person that, you know, shows other people the way. That's going to bring you abundance. And it's not, abundance doesn't come selfishly. Abundance comes when you give. When you give to the world, when you are a beacon of light, when you shine light onto other people, when there's so much darkness in this world, there's so much ugliness, there's so much selfishness and trickery and, and just ugly behavior. When you are that one beacon of light, sunshine, warm, beautiful energy, 
that just shines outward. You have no idea what you can do, you know, and, and how you affect other people just by being that way. You don't know who's right about to walk off the edge of a cliff. You don't know who's having the worst day of their lives. You don't, you know what I mean? And that one act of kindness, that one act of um, inspiration that you can give somebody, um, even just a feeling of relief to somebody that's just like, you know what? I finally bumped into someone that was kind today. You know, and it just knocks them into reality again of being like, you know what? Not everyone is mean. Not everyone is unkind. Not everyone is a narcissist. And that, you know, when you are that beacon of light and an inspiration of kindness, abundance flows to you. You know, it's 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 just the call of karma, basically. And you're not going to do it in a way that is selfish. You're doing it to share. You're doing it to heal the world. You're doing it to help other people, you know, get up and smile. And sometimes it just takes a little bit of kindness to change someone's day around. And you don't even have to know them personally. It could just be five seconds of interaction with a stranger that can literally change their whole day around. That's gonna bring you abundance, basically. So when you combine forces with some with this other person here, there's going to be a lot of, um, <laughs> there you go. There's going to be a lot of happiness. The sun, like I was just saying, when you become the sun, it's going to be extremely powerful and it's going to reverberate throughout the world and throughout people in a way. It's like a ripple in, the, in, a, in a glass pool of water, right? When the water isn't moving and then all of a sudden you dip your yourself in and you make all these ripples and there's just a ripple effect. It goes on and on and on. And there's so much positivity and optimism that's going to come from this. And it just multiplies. You know, like a lot of people like think like, yes, when something bad happens to you, usually people expel that bad energy onto other people. Oh, someone cuts you off in traffic, then you give them the finger, then you give the next person the finger. And it's just this ugly, um, you know, domino effect. But the same is true when you do something nice and when you lead with love and kindness and you show light to the world, you can be kind and soft and give the sunshine that people need right now. The world is tough. To say it lightly, the world is dark and cold and everything, everyone, every animal, even the trees need our help. So in any way that you find yourself useful and helpful to share your sun to the world, I shine my light on the world around me and my radiance attracts more success. And that's exactly what you're going to do. You're going to multiply your sunlight right? Through self-expression, it's going to give you good luck. It's strange because when you don't give an F about what other people think and you just live with authentic love and happiness and you don't care if you stand out, you don't care if you're odd, you don't care if you're quote unquote weird to other people, you're living your true self and people know that, people will become attracted to that because it shows that you also, they also can be who they are and it's okay. You welcome it. There are certain people that do that and they have more power than they think. <sighs> so when you have that enthusiasm and you both have that together, there's going to be a lot of happiness here. There might be a pregnancy. So if you're feeling trapped and you're feeling like you shouldn't, I don't know if I should do this, should I not do this? Yes, you should do it. Just do it. And, and just take for the first step. The first step is always the hardest. The first step is the scariest. And it usually frightens most people to not do it at all. It's kind of like going on, you know, onto a stage for the first time. And you're like, I can't do this. I just can't do it, you know. But then once you're on it and you get off it, you're like, that was exhilarating. That was the best feeling I've ever had. And now you're hooked on it. So give that feeling to other people and lead with your heart. And look at the sun right straight in the middle of this reed it's going to give you you know this is on the bottom of the deck we have teamwork three of pentacles so teamwork makes a dream work happen you're going to find your people you're going to find the people that are gonna even lift you up even more but you're not even coming from that 
as like the main goal. You're doing it because you, this is what you want to do. This is what you love. And people will be attracted to your light. Your heart's desires are taking flight joyfully and magically. It's a wishing well. So follow your heart's desires. No matter if you have any backup right now or not. Because eventually you're going to have other people that are going to flow towards you. And they're going to be inspired by your, your magic. Share the magic with the world. The world needs it. People need it. We need to share our love and our sunlight with other people. And this is how you create real, true abundance and happiness. Happiness comes from helping other people become happy. Isn't that fun when you, when you see someone that you care about? You give them a gift or you do something nice for them and you're like, oh, they're going to love this. And you truly like are excited to do it for them. Do that for people that you don't even know. Do that for animals. Do that for the environment right now. We, we all need help in certain ways. Just pick the way you want to do it and, and give and see the abundance that comes from it.